but today for the hurricane, you know, we decided to get some flashlights and some C and D batteries, but we go to the stores around here and they don't have any of them. Uh, what, are we, what are we gonna do? So we decide we have these AAA bat AA batteries and bulbs, so we're gonna make one here. So here we have the material that I use to make my own flashlight. And here we have some ba three AA batteries, a uh, small flashlight bulb, a wire to connect everything, a bolt, and two nuts that we were using to fill some space and conduct the rest of the electricity. Here's the main part of the flashlight, which is actually just a toothbrush holder. Um, yeah, you get these in a pack for like 99 cents. Useful. Also has some convenient holes that we use. Uh, here is some tape that comes in handy. And here's aluminum that we use as like a reflector. And this last piece is one of those safety uh, things that you put on the oven knobs and it doesn't allow like kids to turn the oven knob. Okay, so in the end, after putting all these things together, we came out with something that looks like this. Inside are three batteries that are like right around there. We used the bolt to fill up space because the container was a little too big. And there's a wire like this running through it. And there's the oven handle, aluminum, and the bulb. And it works. All you do is just push it together like this. Just join it. So I just push that together, and that's how it works. Because as it is, the batteries are just slightly apart. So you just fill up the space by pushing it together. And it connects the circuit. Okay, so now we're going to bring you over to a darker room to just show you exactly how well it works. So, if we go down here, no, no light, nothing, it's actually a staircase. We turn the light on, there you can clearly see little steps, flowers right here, and all the way down, okay? That's how this works.